everybody, my name is Vipu, and today we'll be talking about scientists. So, about scientists, we might think that science is very hard to study, but in fact, it is a bigger part of our life than we think. So, let's take cooking as an example. Cooking, it's not really that much of science that we see, but it's, but it's actually more of a science. Let's say foods that contain chemicals to make them delicious, taste bad, healthy, unhealthy, or even long-lasting. So sometimes when we are curious, we usually ask ourselves questions. A lot of us like that will think as scientists if we do that. After that, we answer the questions we ask ourselves. This process is called hypothesis. Hypothesis after a scientist gets a hypothesis, they usually test them or experiments or do experiments to see if they're correct. And that hypothesis turns into a theory. If the theory is proven wrong, then the sci then scientists don't get too disappointed. So instead, don't try to get disappointed and just simply learn from the mistake you did. After that, scientists get much more hypotheses, turn them into theories, and try and test them or do more experiment, experiments. So do you guys remember the story of Isaac Newton and the dropped apple? If Isaac Newton didn't ask himself about why the apple dropped, he would have never discovered the law of gravity. And, and if a theory is proven correct and never wrong, it turns into a law. So this is all I can say about. So if you think you know nothing about science, then try to prove yourself wrong and think of all the science things you know. So one day if you think to be a good scientist, it might come true. So do you want to hear much more about the facts that the King Glory students study? Then make sure you watch the King Glory International School's website. See you next time.